So we've got the car for another day and we're going to be exploring a few more places here around Bali. Right now we're at Jatilui Rice Terrace. It is a UNESCO heritage site. Hello. Um, hello, good morning. I think it's better than Tegalalang rice fields in Ubud because as you can see it's very big, a lot of space, less crowded as well. And there's a couple reasons for that. One is its location. So we're 700 meters above sea level right now, right near the mountains, which is perfect for the agriculture here. And also, the irrigation system they use for this rice field has been in place since the 9th century, which is the main factor as to why it has become a UNESCO heritage site. The name of this rice terrace is Jati Louis. Jati is the Bahasa in, or Balinese word for very or really and Louis, beautiful, very beautiful. I can't think of better words to describe this place. It's very, very, very beautiful. Back to the car and we're off to our next stop. Here we go. I'm not drinking that, by the way. Of course not. We're very close to the next place. We promise. This is the last time we do something like this. It's a waterfall, but apparently, it's one of the best ones. Right, Mari? Yeah. Seven falls. Seven falls. Yeah. Seven falls. So we started a hike down to the waterfall. We have a guide. Apparently everybody does. So we paid 125,000 rupiah each for this guide. They told us it's very difficult to get to the waterfall from the parking lot where we were at. I don't think it's difficult ability-wise. I think it's just not well marked. There's no signs and a lot of trails, so you might get lost. I feel like that might be part of the whole scheme. But anyway, we're almost there and it looks beautiful already from above. So I wonder what it's gonna look like down there. You found an umbrella!
beautiful waterfall we've seen so far in Bali, right? Absolutely. And probably one of the most beautiful waterfalls I've seen in my entire life. And I've seen quite a few waterfalls. Yeah, the guide thing. Well, as Dan said, there were no signs. So if you want to pay for a guide, go ahead. It's only eight US dollars. They'll help you down the path and up the path and they'll take pictures of you. So very little money for very good service. What else should I say? I don't know, sorry. I'm like pedal to the floor right now. <laughs> and, and I did not think the car was gonna make it up the hill. <laughs> I thought we were gonna be spending the night here. Oh God, these roads, these roads, this car. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Uh, I'm sorry, well, well. If we make it up to the top of this, uh, this hill or this mountain, whatever we're going up right now, we'll continue the video later. All right, last stop of the day is the Bali Gates here in Hendara Golf Course. We'll link it on the map up there. We came here to take some pictures. As you would do. I think it's a really good way to end the day. There were, of course, a lot of other places we wanted to see, but didn't get around to. <sighs> That's why we'll come back to Bali. So we're gonna end here. It was a great two days with the car, getting around as much of the island as we could. I feel like it was a very successful time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tomorrow will be a relaxed, chill day, just hanging out at our villa in Nibud. See you in Usa Penida.